gonna cry. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be feeding a lot of my tarantulas, including my Goliath bird-eating tarantula that you guys have been asking about, Zelda. I thought I'd just give you guys a little update on her. And yeah, we have like a ton of other tarantulas to feed as well. I did get the special gummy worms for this video, so we will go ahead and offer these. First, we're going to try feeding my T. apophysis, the pink-footed bird-eating tarantula. So mine is just a sling, but that does not deter them from taking prey much larger than them. Thank you, Eric. He's playing video games. Anyway, I think it's hungry. Well, I know it's hungry because it's always hungry. Pretty. I think this is the slowest I've ever seen it take prey. I love how confused they are when they get their first hornworm. They're just like so unsure about it. But yay, it took its first hornworm. I have a couple smaller tarantulas I thought we would go ahead and just feed only because I like really need to. So this is a Pamphibedius. I don't remember which one this is. But no matter how much of a hurry you're in, always take a few seconds to print out that label or hand write a label and stick it on that enclosure before you walk away. Good thing I labeled it. Yeah, I, okay. Anyway, it's a Pamphibedia species. <laughs> I'll have to go back and look at what specific one. Here we go. Oh! So this one definitely passes the test on ferocious. I forgot my spray bottle in the other room, so we're just gonna be very high class today and use bottled water. <laughs> Glad you like that. All right, so we're starting out on a high note. Everybody's eaten so far. I don't know what is gonna happen with this one. Let's try this. So I do see some feet. Well, I was hoping it would come out a little bit, but I guess not. <laughs> oh well, at least she ate it. Let's see. Oh, here's another little tarantula today. We're just starting out with all the little guys. Okay, where did this one go? Oh, here we go. This would be good. Oh, uh -huh, that's its molt. My bad. Here we go. Actually, I, th I think, I don't know if it took it or if the worm just fell in the hole. Seems a little afraid of it, so I feel like this one's probably going to take a while to think about eating it. Okay, next up, Xenthus species Eminus. Now check, oh boy, check this out. Oh my gosh, it's so big now. Makes me nervous, it's gotten so big and so quick. Yeah, let's give it a really big worm though, because this is another tarantula with a huge appetite. Oh, right in the face. Ooh. Damn, you didn't have to do it like that. Jeez, RIP worm. I know what spider I would not want to be fed to. I have my blue fang tarantula right here. Not sure if we'll get a good shot, it just molted. Here is the superworm trying to turn into a beetle down here. So maybe if I can get it to eat, I can distract it enough to grab the worm. Oh, it took it, okay. <laughs> yeah, not the best shot ever, sorry about that. Okay, but let's see if I can pull this beetle out very carefully while it's distracted. Ah, got it. See you guys, when you have a super worm and you lose it in the enclosure, this is what it turns into. And it's trying to pupate into a beetle. <laughs> I don't wanna touch it. It's wiggling though. Now you, ew, it's like a fish. It's literally like a fish, watch, yeah. 
Ugh, I don't like it. So right here we have the trapdoor spider that I recently unboxed. Unfortunately, these leaves somehow turned moldy. I don't know like why because I never had that happen with these leaves before. Anyway, I did feed this recently and it did eat, no problem. I thought we could go ahead and try feeding it a hornworm also though. Are you just gonna let it crawl on you? All right, I guess this one's just not feeling it, but yeah, it did just eat, so no surprise. Okay, so before we go on to the larger tarantulas, I thought we could try feeding the camel spiders some crickets because I haven't fed them yet. Did I not get that on video or did I just accidentally sh Oh, I didn't get it on video. Freak. Fuck me, I'm gonna cry. here is climbing around ready to eat we should do that one last all right so next up let's go ahead and feed this is sephora and she is my arizona blonde a phonopoma calcotes i have had her for a very long time She doesn't seem that into it today. All right, this is my Aphonopelma. Oh, she's out. Oh, she's not out. She was out, but she just ran back in her house because she got scared. So this is my Aphonopelma Stran and Darchi. Aphonopelma something. Aphonopelma Stan and Darchi, I think it is. Um, she is one of my favorites, actually. Pure black and beautiful. Let's see if I can get her to come out. There we go. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. Look at that. Oof. Back into the hide. <laughs> yeah, she is looking so good. Actually, I kicked her out of one of these circle enclosures over here. I kicked her out into this bigger enclosure when I got the camel spiders and I didn't film it, but yeah, I gave her this nice little enclosure and she's settling in very well, so that's good. Let's do somebody we have not fed on camera in a while. See Marshali, look at her and her big horn. I haven't given her a hornworm in a while. She's one of those tarantulas I can always depend on to eat and I just hadn't fed her for a while so I knew she was gonna eat. So the last three tarantulas we have to feed are in very large enclosures and typically pretty good eaters except this one. I don't know about this one. She's kind of finicky. This is my Brachypelma smithy. Let's try giving her a big hornworm. All right, she does not want the worm, but I will put it over there because I know she'll probably eat it later. So we have not fed my Nandu Trapepi in a while. She has gotten quite large. There we go, not the best shot because she like webbed up right here for some reason. There's one of her water dishes. Here's her other water dish. All right, so last, let's do an update on Zelda. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh. 
All right, here she is. Okay, so you might see this like white stuff. I don't know what this is. I thought it was mold, but it's like very dry. So I don't know if it's just stuff that the springtails have eaten, but yeah, it's just, I don't know how to get, look at it. It's like dry. Any guesses? I don't know. She's definitely my largest tarantula still. She's been eating really well, which I'm about to demonstrate to you how well she eats. Since she's distracted, I feel like I can show you guys now. Like Eric thought maybe it's like from our water, cause like we use like tap water, you know? I don't really know, but it's just like this like dry, I don't know. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be affecting her. It's It doesn't seem to be like getting worse or anything. It's just like kind of on the surface of this area where I usually like spray water around here. I wonder if I could scoop it up really quick while she's here. Yeah, so I was able to scoop a lot of it out. But yeah, so that is how Zelda is and all of these guys and all of these guys. As soon as I filled her water dish up, all these springtails came out. You know what? I just really wonder if it's springtails breaking down like things. I don't know because I definitely put a lot of springtails in her enclosure. But yeah, anyway, so that's it. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did. Subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget, I'm in this community. It's probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet picks.